Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Is the Lib Dem Con coalition past its sell-by date? Schultz says Europe is Frankenstein's monster. EU ministers pressing to hail bailouts a success, but are they? Why can't Ian Duncan Smith do anything about benefit tourism? I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news. First, from our homepage, in his blog, Dr Eric Edmund takes a long, hard look at the Conservative Liberal Democrat coalition. Eric opens the door to questions that none of our political Decepticons want to provide answers to. The government is writing cheques the Treasury can't cash. The economy is going to hell in a handbasket. And what do our learned leaders do? They propose gay marriage, RBS share fire sales and a referendum for the Falkland Islands. On a final note, have you asked yourself how come the Falklanders can have a referendum on the turn of a coin without condition and yet the people of the UK have to re-elect Le Bon Premier Dave Cameroni and then he might consider giving it to us in 2017? I suggest he's already giving it to us, just not all of us have realised it yet. Here is one of those articles that tries to hide the truth in plain view. I've been talking about the totally undemocratic structure of the EU. The 27 Nazgul members of the EU Commission are appointed and not elected. They write all the laws. Neither you or me can do anything to decide who stays and who goes. And that critically compromises our freedom and democracy. Many people find that statement hard to swallow coming from a layperson such as I. But go look for yourself. Today on our website in this article, Martin Schulz, the European Parliament chief, admits the very same. We have already lost our freedom. The greatest majority of our self-determination via our MPs in Westminster is gone. Our legal and political sovereignty is gone. And the EU horns sound the final call for a federal union through fiscal integration. Your freedoms and rights are already gone. Not because you are oppressed by tyranny today, but because you lost the power to avert it yesterday. Speak now, or you will forever hold your peace. Well, I simply have to open this article with a direct quote. European Union finance ministers sought advice on Tuesday on how to help Ireland and Portugal demonstrate the success of their painful bailout programmes by returning to international markets to raise funds. Surely if these bailouts had, were, are being successful, the evidence would speak for itself. The bailouts do not remove the debt from these countries, they simply exasperate it. You cannot and never have been able to borrow your way out of a deficit. Anyone with a credit card knows this. You run the card above your monthly income, allowing the deficit to build, then you switch the balance to a delayed 0% card and carry on as before. End result? You're bankrupt. The bond market is set to blow, and that's where most of this money is coming from. The ECB is whipping Mr Draghi and his Heidelbergs as it promises to shore up the bond markets with an unlimited buy policy. The bond market is at a 300 year high. It's an enormous bubble and it's going to burst soon, very soon. The temperature is rising as the veto end date approaches and UK ministers fidget with the conundrum of how to stop additional EU migrants from Romania and Bulgaria hopping aboard the British benefits cash cow. In this article, Ian Duncan Smith seeks to get to grips with the problem. Now the point to note here is that Mr Smith is the Work and Pensions Secretary for the UK Government. We elected him to preside over the benefits system and to run it in a way of which we approve. Broadly, this means UK taxpayers providing a welfare budget for UK citizens who find themselves on hard times. So why can he not simply act on our wishes? Why does he need a meeting with the EU to ask for permission? That can only be because he answers to a higher authority. Well, then something is wrong with that picture, because there should be no higher authority than us, the people. 
Today in our video library, an analyst says that Spaniards and several other European nations have lost their political freedom to a bunch of unelected people in Brussels. You don't say. In the background of this, thousands of Spanish health workers have protested against record high unemployment in Spain, currently standing at above 26%. Spaniards are angry over the government's handling of the economic crisis and over corruption in its government. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis, for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.